Hello, I'm Adam and welcome. Today I will show you how to configure a OctoPrint software on any x86 architecture PC. In this example I will use my new toy which I bought for about 2 euros <laughs> and without shipping because I bought three of them to make the price of this a little bit bigger than shipping. But anyway, uh, I will show you uh, what's, what I've bought and uh, what and how to configure the Octoprint. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, look what I've bought for uh, two euros. It's wise thin client. It's something like a terminal, and uh, let's see what it uh, got. Uh, there is a it's microphone with uh, headphones uh, jack, two USB ports and power button. That's okay. There we've got uh, display port output, uh, DVI output, two USB, and uh, that's interesting, gigabit Ethernet. And uh, there is a standard uh, DC jack. Uh, you can uh, find uh, that in many uh, Asus laptops. And uh, it's, uh, I think, 5.5 millimeters outer diameter. I can measure it. And as we can see, standard, uh, yeah, 5.5 outer diameter and inner is, it's 2.5 millimeter inner diameter and uh, it fits very well. Okay, so uh, let's check what's inside this uh, terminal because it's <laughs> interesting. I know the video is about, uh, I don't need to unscrew this. I know the video is about uh, Octoprint, but uh, I really prefer this uh, hardware to use with uh, Octoprint because it uh, fits really nice for this uh, uh, use case and uh, it's uh, way better than uh, standard Raspberry Pi because uh, it's uh, x86 architecture and uh, it uh, got a gigabit Ethernet and uh, some SATA ports and uh, and uh, what's most important uh, there is a two core AMD processor oh no there's so many screws even there is a speaker <laughs> okay let me quickly unscrew this Okay, so uh, let's see what's inside and uh, I've bought this without uh, memory but with this hard disk drive and uh, this uh, disk drive is amazing <laughs> capacity. It has uh, two gigabytes uh, uh, memory size. Yes, but uh, two gigabytes. Uh, Clean Debian needs about uh, one gigabyte. That means we've got about one gigabyte for the Octoprint and the uh, G codes files and the rest things. And uh, what's uh, most important, this thing is uh, working passively. That means there is no any fun inside. So that's 100% quiet. That's great. Uh, okay, what's more? Uh, so first, there we've got uh, a SATA port. Uh, next, uh, there is a header for a mini PCI uh, Express port, for example, uh, Wi-Fi cards. Uh, this exactly model didn't uh, had it soldered, but uh, the other two I've got, uh, I've got on them because this one is from. Uh, this one is uh, April, as you can see there. This one is April 2012, uh, April 2014. Uh, so this one didn't got, but I've got uh, two uh, of them are from uh, 2013, and uh, there is a PC mini PCI Express port uh, present. But anyway. Uh, there is one SATA, but as we can see, there is a header for another SATA. Oh, you don't see. 
Uh, as you can see, there is uh, another header for uh, SATA. Uh, all we need uh, to use it, just uh, we can solder uh, pins uh, for the SATA from the SATA uh, header, from the SATA data cable, and it will work because normally in BIOS, uh, two SATA ports are available. So there is only no uh, plastic header, no soldered header to use this SATA. That means we can use another hard drive, even we can use a two hard drive and uh, use uh, something like uh, write or uh, ZFS uh, partition uh, type to make this thing like working like NAS. Uh, and of course it has one gigabit Ethernet. So that's really great thing for about two dollars. Yeah, so <laughs> that's it about hardware. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.